Hi y'all, I'm Joanne and welcome to Tally Girl 2 Treasures. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and start sorting through a box from Shop Goodwill. It was around 21 pounds of um, just regular fashion jewelry and looking in here for some treasures to keep, to resell, um, and some of them are going to be going in a craft lot and some will be sold in small groups or individually or whatever and always on the hunt for something that might be more valuable like gold or silver or things like that. So let's go ahead and get started and let's see what's in the first batch from this box. Um, first thing I'm grabbing, it's just right on the top and easy to get my hands on. It's a clamper bracelet. Looks to be actually in brand new, good condition item that would go like in a wear lot. Um, here's a bangle bracelet. Looks like there is a rhinestone missing. So something like this would go in a craft lot. So you can guys see if there's any missing parts or if it's something that's kind of just eh blah, I will just <laughs> I will just put it in the craft lot. Alright, so this is like a Boyd's Bear pin. That will not go in anything. Alright, and then we have a this is pretty. We have a kind of a brush gold necklace. I'm trying to Kind of at a funny angle the way I'm sitting right now, so I'm trying to see that you're able to see, but it's a brush gold that's pretty and it has some kind of maker's mark. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. I can't really read that, I'm not familiar with it, so we'll have to do a little research. So, put that one in the resale. Um, I'm not going to tell you each item, but you can kind of get by where I'm putting it what I will do with the item. Um, everything, even if it's craft, I will wash it before I resell it. Um, unless something like this is, I mean, it's brand new, it's not dirty or anything, it has the tags on it. I'm guessing based on the price and the quality, it was probably like at a little boutique or something like that. Um, put that over there. Here's some bees, they're definitely glass. They're very interesting because they're real sparkly. Those are pretty with a barrel clasp, so they might be vintage because that looks like an older clasp to them. Those are kind of cool. Here is a locket, letter E. That goes in the craft. Um, where is this? That's pretty. It's like a cloisonne and it has a latch. What are these things called? They can go like on pearls. Um, and he, I think they're called enhancers. That's really pretty. Put that over there. A uh, stretchy bracelet cross. And I'm going to put that in a religious lot. So I'm going to put that off to the side here. Oh, this is pretty. This is a brooch with little flowers. It does have a signature on it and I does that say Monet? Oh my goodness I am bad without my glasses on right now. Okay well now you see it and I'll see it when I watch the video because I can't see it right now. Oh this is so terrible. Anyways it is what it is. I'll be surprised when I watch put the video together what it is too because I don't know where my reading glasses are. This I can see. That's a Charming Charlie and it has multiple kind of strands in here with a whole lot going on. I can go in like a Charming Charlie a lot because I seem to find a lot of Charming Charlie. Um, here's a bracelet that's pretty stretched out. It's a craft, light, craft lot item. This is pretty. It is a clamper bracelet, and I do see a name in there. Oh, good grief. It starts with an S. Oh, goodness. It starts with an S. What does that say? Yeah, I need to get some reading glasses. I don't know what that says right now. But... Anyways, it's pretty, so we're going to put that in that pile. Tip 
to myself, please get reading glasses. I left them somewhere and now I am trying to record. This is not working. This says coach. I recognize tag. Um, this is like a little tag off of a phone or yeah, it says coach back there. I don't know. Put that over there. Here's another cuff link. Doesn't match the other one. Here's a bracelet. This has some really pretty beads on it. Looks like it had a tag on it. Actually, that's really pretty. It's pretty stretched out, but I love the sparkle too. The little, yeah, these are gorgeous. I'm going to put this in. I might repurpose this myself. I really like those. If not, it'll just go in a craft lot. Here's a butterfly looking, but they're not butterflies. But little stretchy bracelets. You can see it's really stretched out. So it goes in the craft lot. So far, I'm finding more for craft. Ooh, I like these. Look at that earring. I hope I find the other one of that. Oops. And I'll drop it one more time. Look at how big that is. That's really pretty. And here's one of those, like, crystal stretchy bracelets. I like those. Here's a beaded kind of bib front necklace. It's a little bit of discoloration on here but it's definitely wearable you wouldn't see any of that they are plastic it's a little more wearable than anything over there that's broken and let's see what we got here oh my goodness this is a tangled mess let's leave that to the side let's pull some things that aren't so tangled let's see all right this one oops it's getting a little attractive there these are pretty. It's a statement necklace, but it's not over the top. Oh, and I'm not even on the screen here. I gotta hold it up this way. That's pretty with the little flowers. And this one is actually just Claire's, but it's pretty. Put that in with some other jewelry, or maybe I'll keep it. And there's a brooch without any signature on it. It's nice and chunky. Nice piece. Ooh, there's a cameo. It does not feel older. It feels like a reproduction plastic, but it's pretty. Um, here's one of those hematite with those little eye beads, stretchies. And here's an earring that doesn't match these. No, these look a little old older or just more worn, not by the backing, that's not older. And then here's an earring, we're going to try to match these up at the end. Here's just a statement necklace, they're plastic, probably will end up going in the um, craft lot, but I'm putting it over there just for now, at least it's a wearable item, anything broken is not wearable and that just goes automatically in the craft lot. This is kind of a shell thing, but it's it's nothing exciting that's gonna go in the craft lot. There we have a bunch of jewelry that's all tangled up. What in the world is this? Don't know what this is. This pendant is interesting. It looks like somebody melted something down and created their own item. Let's see, it'd be nice if it was silver because it's heavy. It is not magnetic. We'll see if that's silver. That would be a really nice piece of silver. Here's a bit of a chain that's stuck to this. It's not broken or anything, it's just a regular chain. And, oh, this is sweet. In good condition, it's a Christmas tree. Pendant. That's in great shape. Very cute. It's a wearable item. Let's see what else we have here. Got some feathers going on. They are on a necklace, some kind of necklace. Oh my goodness, we have a catastrophe of jewelry tangling. This is the only thing that drives me nuts with this. I know some people think it's very therapeutic. To me, it's a pain. All right, this is kind of fun. It's stretchy. Ugh. 
the stretch is just about to give on it but wow that has a lot of fun beads on it and I like the orange and pink together that's pretty fun put this in the maybe because I might wear that <laughs> all right so we have a moon and star pendant And we have a brooch. It's plastic. It's newer. It'd be pretty for crafting or if you wanted to wear it. Oh, I like this one. I like the stones on it. It's just a stretchy bracelet. Let me take this one off. Let's see. That's kind of fun. It's pretty. And then we have What's this guy? This guy's tangled up. It's just a fashion necklace, links. These kind of remind me of um, Brightonton with a darker area, but it's very lightweight. It's not a quality piece. I'm sure it looks pretty on. Here's another one of those. This is a stone. Republic of China. Another one of those enhancers or a necklace. And here is a necklace that reminds me of the Alex and Ani ones. It's adventure with like a little compass on it. That's cute. All right, and this one just has a lot going on. There's feathers. It looks like a couple layers and all these different little things and it is American Eagle. So we'll try to fix this one up, straighten it out, and see if it's okay after. Right now it's just a hot mess. All right, let's see what else, some earrings. Here's, I know this isn't handmade, but it does look handmade. Maybe it is handmade. No, I don't think so. It's finished really nicely. And Oh my, this is a hot mess. Sometimes I look at them and I'm going, uh, if it is not worth it, we're just going to wash them and stick them in with the crafting lot and let somebody just cut them apart because like this is really tangled up here and I don't know. Again, well, maybe, maybe. Oh, it's like a tassel. That's why it looks so strange. All right. There we go. This is super fun watching somebody untangle. That didn't help. All right, so this is like a big long tassel of pearls. Yeah, that is what it is. The finish isn't great. That'll probably end up in a craft lot. And here's a huge earring. With one of the rhinestones missing, but that's fun, isn't it? It'd be fun to craft with. Take these off and use this piece and then use these little tassels on other items. That's pretty fun. Here's a pendant on these leather, kind of like suede straps. Alright, here, oh this is fun, this looks brand new, you know, you can tell this is pretty, um, a cross bracelet, this is fun too, look at that, I like the way these feel when you put them on, they're kind of like those ball bearings, it just slides around, that's pretty with the rose, Whoop. that's fun. Has like a little tulip or something at the end, but not a maker's mark on it. I see a charming Charlie tag in here. And that's on this bracelet. That's pretty. And we have some pearls. These are not glass, they're plastic, but it kind of has a vintage look. It's like a little collar look to them. 
That's pretty. And yeah, these are vintage. Look at that. That's fun. All right. This one has my eye because it's so sparkly. It's like a little prism dangling off the end of this chain. Stretchy bracelet, purple. Little plastic ring. This is a copper pendant with a lot of wear to it. And it has a B-A-E-R. Not familiar with that one. It has too much wear for much of anything. This is like a handmade because I can feel the wire inside. But I picked some pretty stones on it. So it's really nice and crystals. Here's a love. Oh, this Girl Scouts. Look, like they got love the little cookies. That's kind of cute. Did they get those out as rewards or something? When I was in Girl Scouts, we got a, a badge. Um, for selling a lot of Girl Scout cookies. I don't know what they do now. Here's another cuff link. All right, here's a necklace. I don't want to pull on this one. I feel like these are going to come apart. This is on like a string. Um, that has like a little horn to it. It feels plastic. It does not feel expensive. And I don't even know if I put that in a lot because it just feels like it's going to fall apart at any minute. I think that's a craft lot item. And here's a like a scarf clip, maybe. That has to be a scarf clip. That'd be an awful big earring. Here's a letter L, a brooch. And Sarah Coventry has these. Oh, yeah, that's what that is. I've seen other letters like that. Some more earrings. Here's a cross. Ouch, that was painful. <laughs> yeah, there's a little star. It looks like somebody made it out of polymer clay. And there's a moon. And the tag is a Charming Charlie, so I highly doubt it's silver. It does look like silver, that chain, but definitely not silver. And here's a bracelet with a bunch of hearts on it. That's cute. And, ooh, this is different. This is different. Need to unhook. What is going on here? Oh, it has a, look, look. It has a, oh, sorry. It has the bracelet. And it has the necklace and they were hooked together. And it might be handmade. They're, they're beads or actually they're seed pearl. They're pearls. They look like pearls. And little seed beads in there. That's really pretty. Very pretty. Kind of a purple blue periwinkle. Alright, here's another mess. And we have another statement necklace. And then let's see what these are. This is a charm bracelet with different initials on it. This is kind of fun. These look like old, um, kind of like typewriters in a, little, in a way. I'm guessing this is probably like a craft show item, you know, where they have those booths with like the fun vintage looking jewelry. And somebody put their initials on here. I doubt it's silver. It's not silver, but they're fun. Here's another one in here too. So I would put these together in the same box because if someone has somebody with these letters, none of them work for me except the P, but none of the other ones work. Oh, there's a little name on it, so it does have a name. I'll have to research that. Okay, so I'll have to look that up to see if I can find out some information. There's some little 
beads in this little necklace. And here's a brooch. Whoops. Gosh, I keep dropping things today. It is not vintage, but it does look vintage. This is fun. This is real fun. This looks handmade. Hold on, let me get this other chain out of here. La la la. Come on, let's go. Oh my goodness. Um, it's actually through the other bead. It got stuck in there, and I need to get like some pliers to kind of open up that link so I don't ruin this. But this is one of those little like bead pouches that someone made. It's kind of like a little envelope. That is super cool. I would put this like in a boho lot or something. Um, or keep it. <laughs> this one's tied up in there too. These open link bracelets or jewel just jewelry together are a pain in the neck. This one has purple glass beads with shoes on it. And then it's got this one all tangled up, and this is another necklace. That's, ooh, that's really pretty. Pretty beads in there. So I'm gonna have to work on that one. Let me put this off to this. This is still tangled up in here. Oh my goodness. Hold on. All right, here's just a open link kind of chain costume, of course, and a faux leather choker with a little heart. These have little seed beads on it and I don't know whatever was attached in the middle is gone so definitely a crafty item. And then we have another tangled mask. I'm gonna put this over just a little bit and go through some other things. We have a little R um, cuff link and some pin. Oh, this is cute with little kitties in a basket. You don't see a signature on the back. Here's a necklace with a glass pendant. This is a kind of a bit of something, but it's actually a pretty bead. A crafting lot. And here's a silver tone chain. I don't believe it's real silver. No, it's magnetic with small beads. Here's a very simple, kind of like a Target or something necklace. Reminds me of Target. Um, here's a little ring, silver tone with some sparkle to it. I highly doubt it's silver. It's not marked silver. It just looks too shiny. But maybe we'll check that out just in case. Never know. A pin. A fun little sparkly ring. Oops, there's a stone missing. So it's a craft lot item. Oh, the colors are gorgeous though. Those could be harvested for something else. Here's a rhinestone. Very dainty bracelet. Here's a bracelet that has different names on it. These are all grandmother words. There's Nona, Baka, Grandmother, Grandma, Oma. That's really cute. Abuela. Yeah, that's really cute. I'll have to look at that one, the condition closer to see this does not feel like gold, but it's like a remnant piece, so it's not magnetic. We'll check it out anyways. Here's a little fashion ring. There's some earrings. Let's see if we get any matches. I'll do that at the very end. And here's a beaded necklace. This is kind of pretty. It has buttons on it, like the little shell buttons with a dangle. I like that one. It's pretty. Kind of the Y. Oh, 
Oops, I realize I'm out of the frame. There we go. The Y. I'm looking at it in person, realizing I might not be recording it very well. And it's a Cookie Lee. It's a Cookie Lee piece. It's really cute. Okay, we have a seed bead, multi strand. It's definitely a choker length, really small. Very tiny, maybe a child size. That was really little. Necklace, and then this one's pretty. It's like somebody handmade it. It's like the way the clasp is done. It's ribbon and beads. Looks really boho, like a choker. And then there's this pendant with a velour kind of chain on it. It's not a chain. What do you call that? Band or whatever. This is a pretty uh, bead here. It's just a choker. I like that bead though. Pretty. This one is not Brightonton but has a kind of imitation Brightonton look. I like that one because I like Brightonton. And then here's a Crystal, rhinestone, I guess crystal bracelet. All right, and here's a beaded necklace. These are glass beads. Here's a broken necklace. Here's a gold toe, some little pink beads. This one has a little kind of an arrowhead look to it. This is fun. Somebody made this. It has the coolest beads on it. I'll put this in a craft lot. Somebody can have a lot of fun with this. Look at the beads. This one's like a carved face or something. Oh, really fun. Look at those. Glass and the blue, kind of Asian oriental looking. There's just a little bangle bracelet. Key necklace. This one's another one of those, the little beads on them. And this is pretty, very simple. Silver tone with kind of a mother of pearl, little pendant in it. There's a larger cross pendant. And let's take a look at the earrings. Okay, I don't see any matches in the earrings in this part of it, but of course I'm not going to get rid of any of these because I have the other parts of this box to go through, so their mate may be in another section that I go through. Um, I'm also keeping some singles together to do a craft lot of just single earrings because some people love to craft with just earrings. Real specific, I learned that from other resellers about what resells for jewelry. So I just want to thank you all for stopping by and I'm going to go ahead and record the next part of this box probably tomorrow and then go ahead and upload every few days I guess on the videos from this box and we'll see what treasures are in there. I'll do testing of the items towards the end and do them all at once. All right until next time thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell button and it'll tell you when you I have uploaded a video. It will tell you when I've uploaded a video. <laughs> all right thank you so much. Bye-bye.